start the recording. So then the, the second tool is, is really to set an intention to heal your emotional body. And if you have anything specific, if you know specifically, let's say um, I have, let's say I want to heal my, my relationship with my dad, for example. And, and so if that is something that is in front of me to do, then I would just take some time and to set that intention is to really heal my relationship with my dad. And then just uh, do protection and then go through all the different um, different gateways, like third dimension, fourth dimension, fifth, and then go to sixth. And that's because um, um, when you are starting out to use dimensional healing is to really make sure that when you go through each of the dimension, you know that the dimension gateways are opened 100%. Because if you just say, I want to go to the sixth dimension, however, if you're not sensitive enough and energetically sensitive enough, you may not notice that actually, you know, the fourth dimension or the fifth dimension, one of the lower dimensions, the gateways are not open um, widely enough. So as you go, when you go to the sixth dimension, it may not have, like, um, the energy may not be coming through as um, strongly as you would like it to be in order to assist in you healing your emotional body. So I, the suggestion that I would give is, unless you are an experienced dimensional traveler, if your experience and does not matter, then you just go to whatever dimension you want. But if you are just starting out, is to go from you know opening eight inches, which is the third dimension, then 16, 32, and then 64, which is the gateway for the sixth dimension. And to, before you even do protection or any of the other things, to set that intention. What do you want to do? And, for that session. Do you want to heal emotional body as a very general blanket statement? Or do you want to have one specific thing? For example, I mentioned earlier is to heal my relationship with my dad. Like I, I, it could be as specific as that or as general as just healing the emotional body. So set your intention for the session and then do the, the other things. <coughs> And what are the other things? <laughs> I just want to, to kind of um, talk about it. Just It's a review because I'm quite sure I, I have talked about this before. So this is just a review. So how to, to do protection before we go dimensional traveling. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so we are still traveling just with our um, consciousness. So with our consciousness, however, we still want to make sure that we have protection because sometimes if we are not careful enough, we may bring, we may have, um, I, I should say, um, riders who want to come back with us because um, <clears throat> especially if we haven't quite healed our emotional body yet, then our emotions may attract some some other entities that want to play with you and you may not want to play with them. So, so some protection, and that's what the protection is for. So how do you protect yourself? Um, is to like, get your body in the rhythm first, meaning use your breath. So breathe in, breathe out in rhythmically. So five in, five out, or four in, four out whatever it is that works for you. And then also make sure once you've done the rhythmic um, breathing is to make sure that your central meridians, your chakra, your uh, Kundalini are, are strong because your own energy has to be running strong. Otherwise um, you, you can't really handle the, the, 
the higher frequency energy is coming in. So make sure that central meridian and the chakra and your Kundalini are both, uh, like all, all of the, <coughs> the chakras are strong. And then make sure your energies left and right side are balanced, no emotions. So, um, so it is to make sure that when you merge your the, the EC6 and the CK6, that the EC6 is on top so that you, you kind of lessen the emotions. And then when you have your energy center fully open, then you pull the energy down. And that, that will be your protection. And you do that three times. When you do that three times, then you, you create that protection around yourself. And then you start to go to eight inches, 100% open, 16, 32, 64. Okay, so that's that's the, um, that is that. So any questions about that? I have one more question. Sure, go ahead. If you wanna heal emotional uh, relationship, uh, emotional relationship. Can you heal emotional relationship with a few people, with two people, <clears throat> or again, it's supposed to be just with one. Start with one. It depends. It depends. Are they the same emotions? No, different. Different one. If it's different, then um, I would suggest one at a time first. Okay. Yeah. And if both of them are, you know, very similar, then I would say it's it's okay to kind of do them together. But if they are very different relationships, then I would um, I would suggest doing it differently. So, okay. Any other questions, comments? Everybody uh, has a, a particular emotions that they want to. So, okay. What I'm saying is set the intention now. What do you want to? release because we are going to go to the sixth dimension because that's our final meditation for tonight okay so set your intention which what do you want to do um, or emotional in terms of emotions emotional healing um set your your intention what do you want to heal? And let's, let's go to the sixth dimension now and uh, do that healing. Okay. <clears throat> 